Hi everyone, it's Jackie. So I'm finally here to do my Frequently Asked Questions video. Um, last week I posted a video asking you guys to leave your guys' questions for me and I would answer them all in a video. And when I say answer them all, I really mean answer them all. Um, I got all the questions and there were so many and I think I'm answering almost all of them. But I split them up into categories and because this video is going to be so long, I am going to put little links or annotations right here at the bottom and I will just leave this up the whole throughout the whole video. So if you want to skip over a certain part that's totally okay, you can just like click to the next section or something um, and, it'll, it'll, you know, and it'll take you there. So you don't have to watch the entire thing because I know this is going to be very, very long. So enough of me talking. Let's just get right into the questions. What is your nationality? I'm American because I was born and raised here in the U.S. What is your ethnicity? I'm Filipino, Japanese, German, and French. Um, in middle school, people actually thought I was Mexican, though. I'm not quite sure why. But um, my question for you guys is, write in the comments below what you guys thought I was, because I'm interested to know. I thought it was kind of obvious that I was Filipino because of my, my nose. It's kind of wide and flat. I don't know. I just think it's a very... Uh, Filipino nose. <laughs> How old are you? I am 19 and I'll be turning 20 in May. When is your birthday? <laughs> my birthday is May 7th and my boyfriend's birthday is May 6th. He is one day older than me. That is so cool. I love that. <laughs> How tall are you? I am only 5'3". <laughs> I wish I was taller, but I'm not. I'm only 5'3". Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have two sisters, two younger sisters. One is Brooklyn, and you all know her. She's five years old. And um, I have another sister, which you guys haven't met yet, and she's 16 years old, and her name is Caitlin. And just a little FYI, she's go she doesn't have one yet, but she's going to be start making like videos, singing videos, because she's a singer. So once she does, I will give you guys the link and everything so you guys can check her out. She's a really good singer. Do you have any pets? Yes, I do. I have one dog. Her name is Callie. Uh, she's a Lhasa Apso. I've had her since I was in second grade. She's been with the family forever. She really is my best friend ever, and I love her to pieces. What are you going to school for? I am in college right now doing a bunch of general education classes. My major is business marketing. I might change it to communications. I'm not quite sure yet. What do you do to keep up with school? I actually volunteer at a salon, and... Um, I take all my homework and all my schoolwork there with me and you know it doesn't really take a lot of my time to help them out with like answering the phones and um, helping them with the towels and stuff. So a lot of time I'm just sitting there so I have a lot of time doing my home. Oh, I have a lot of time to do my homework. When I'm at home trying to do my homework I just get distracted with so much stuff and um, being away like at a salon or even a public library really helps me just stay focused on my homework and I don't know about you guys but when I have people like watching me do my homework or schoolwork or stuff um, it kind of makes me like stay on track like I feel like I can't I can't like I can't slack off or I can't get distracted because they're watching me so I gotta stay on track um, I know the salon is kind of random but definitely if you are struggling with you know, doing homework and staying on track and stuff, definitely go to a public library or something similar. Um, it's really just going to help you stay more focused being away from like distract distractions because when you're at home, you know, that's when you're most comfortable. So, you know, it's a lot easier for you to get like too comfortable and then slack off and yeah. Are you a model and are you still modeling? No, I'm not a model. It would be really cool if I was, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm I mean, honestly, I'm 5'3", and I'm like 120 pounds, you know, it's really not going to happen for a girl like me. But I did do, you know, some local modeling, and I did runways, um, runway shows, like little fashion shows and stuff, and that was a lot of fun. And I did that for a while, but then when I went back to school, I kind of just stopped everything. Um, I wish I didn't have to, but school is more important, and I just don't have time now to be doing photo shoots and, you know, stuff like that. Um, I have been thinking, though, of making a video kind of dedicated to stuff like that. Um, just to give you guys advice, if any of you are interested um, in doing modeling, like, um, just for fun or if you're, like, really serious, I can... Like, I'm not a professional and I don't really... I was never, like, a professional or, and I don't know, like, everything about modeling, but I do know some stuff. So, I could make a video 
on all that information for you guys to help you guys out if you're interested. So, um, if you're interested in a video like that, um, let me know in the comments below and I will have a video up for you. Do you smoke? No, I do not smoke. Smoking is so bad for you, especially if you want to stay active. I love to go running, but you know, smoking, if I smoke, that's only going to slow me down. And so if you're an athlete or if you like staying active and stuff, it's only going to slow you down. And smoking takes off so many years of your life. And not only does it hurt you, but it hurts the people around you with like secondhand smoke and stuff like that. It's just really not a nice thing and you know when I'm at school walking to my classes and people are smoking like I literally hold my breath for as long as I can until I'm far away from them and that's just like so uncomfortable and um, really inconsiderate. Please don't smoke it's bad for everybody. What career are you trying to pursue? There's so much I want to do with my life but right now I'm trying to become a professional makeup artist which might be a little difficult because I am not going to beauty school and I don't plan on going to beauty school unless uh, beauty school becomes free. <laughs> um, I have started doing freelancing so that's really exciting. Right now I'm just doing like high school events like prom and homecoming and stuff like that and it's really fun so I'm really excited to see how that goes. What is your dream job slash career? Okay there's three things that I would just absolutely love to do. Okay the first one obviously be a professional makeup artist. The second one is to be a petite model, I would love that. I mean, I know it's not gonna happen, but you know, a girl can dream. <laughs> and the third one, no one really knows this, but oh my God, this one's probably the most exciting. Like I would just love to do this one more than anything. I would love to be an actress on Nickelodeon. <laughs> I know that's like random, but I, I just love like Nickelodeon and like the audience it's aimed towards. Like shows like iCarly and Victoria's like you know, shows like that, how it's kind of aimed towards, like, younger teenage girls. And, um, I would love to be on a show like that. And, uh, I think it would just be so much fun. Oh, I would just, uh, I, oh, I just can't even explain how fun that would be. And I know being an actress is a lot of work. I used to do acting when I was younger. Um, but I would have so much fun doing it. I know I would have so much fun doing it. <laughs> have you ever been abroad? Yes, I have. I um, I lived in Japan for a few years because my dad was stationed there when he was in the military. And um, just last year, I went on a cruise with my family to Mexico for the first time, um, which is really weird because everyone in California goes to Mexico for like vacation and stuff. But I've and I've lived in California for a while, but I've never gone to Mexico, which is weird. But I finally went. And I loved it and. Uh, Oh, I loved it. Do you like to meet new people? Yes, I do. I love meeting new people. It's just so exciting. And um, if you haven't noticed or you couldn't tell already, um, I get really excited easily. So um, meeting new people is just really, really exciting. So <laughs> are you shy when you first meet people? Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes, I am. I love meeting new people, but I'm really shy. If you ever see me, come and say hi to me and I will try not to be shy. I promise. I promise I'll try. Um, I'm really working on that because I don't want to be shy anymore. So I'm really trying to just get out of that. Um, so yeah, if you ever see me say hi and I won't be shy. <laughs> what is your boyfriend's name? My boyfriend's name is Johnny, but in our group of friends, there are two Johnnies. So my Johnny, we call him Johnny boy. So he even signs his name like that. Like he's Johnny boy. And the other one is just Johnny. So, yeah, my boyfriend is Johnny Boy. <laughs> How long have you two been together? Johnny and I have been together for almost three years, I think. Um, we don't really, we're not really strict about keeping track of how long we've been together. It's it's in my calendar somewhere, so I could always look. But um, we've been together for about three three years, I think. Yeah. <laughs> how did you guys meet? Oh my gosh, this is a funny story. But my boyfriend claims that I was a loner sitting by myself at a table and he invited me to the cool table and because he felt sorry for me so he made me cool. That is so not true. He always tells people that and he's really like, I think he really believes that that's true but it's not. That's not what happened. Okay. Okay, we were freshmen in high school and we had a science class together and um... 
I had one friend in the class and um, Johnny had like two other friends in the class and um, my friend was like mutual friends with Johnny and like his group so she's like oh let's go sit with them and hang out with them so I was like okay because I just followed her over so then it just became like this big group and so then after that you know we became like our table we became like a big family like we would always hang out like at lunch and after school and stuff and um, we just became so close and we all loved each other and cared for one another and um, Johnny and I became really close we became like brother and sister he would call me sister and I would call him brother and he would help me with my guy problems and I would help him with his girl problems and we were just always there for one another <laughs> and um, we loved each other so much but we didn't know it was more than a friendship love until our sophomore year maybe I'll make another video on that we'll see <laughs> why won't he be in any videos oh my gosh I wish I knew the answer to that I really want him to be in my videos too but I don't know why he won't be in any of my videos. I think maybe it might be because he feels uncomfortable to, like talking to a camera, which I can understand because when I first started making videos, I was uncomfortable talking to a camera because I know not everyone, you know, can be comfortable just having a conversation with a camera. <laughs> I don't think it's weird anymore because I feel like I'm actually talking to you guys, so I don't feel like I'm talking to a little camera. <laughs> but yeah, I don't... One of these days, I will get him in a video. Oh, he's such a little booger. Oh, can you tell us more about him? Yes, I can. Um, <laughs> Johnny is a very unique person. Um, there really aren't words to describe him. Um, if you ask anyone that knows him, that's met him, they can agree. Like, You can't like find words to describe him. He's very unique and different. And um, I just, I think that's, I just love that about him. Um, he is full Mexican. He's about 5'11", I think. Um, I'm 5'3", and I wear 4-inch heels sometimes, and he's still taller than me. So, yeah, he's pretty tall. Um, he likes to rock a mohawk, sort of like, um, similar to, like, the David Beckham mohawk when David Beckham had one. Um, it's, like, not a huge one, but it's, like, a little mohawk. Not exactly a faux hawk, but, because it's actually shaved as a mohawk, but it's just, like, a little... A little one like that. He has gauges. Uh, I don't know how big they are. I think they're like a zero or double zero or something like that. Um, he has gauges and he has his eyebrow pierced and um, he basically sounds like a bad boy but he's actually not. <laughs> he plays soccer like religiously but Johnny is really caring and really loving and he loves to be with kids and he actually works at this place and it it's an indoor place with a bunch of astro jumps and little kids have like their birthday parties there and they just jump around in the astro jumps. It's really cute. And it's just so sweet like seeing him with like a bunch of little kids like how he interacts with them. It's just really, it's precious. He is always helping others before he helps himself. He's very selfless. He will give his last dollar to you know a random homeless person before he spends it on himself. He rather help others than help himself. And he is absolutely hilarious. This is probably one of my favorite things about him, but he is a total class clown. I love people who can make me laugh because I love to laugh. <laughs> and he is just so hilarious. And he, oh God, this is embarrassing. <laughs> he loves to rap <laughs> and he thinks he's good and he makes up these fake words and it's so funny. I'm just, I'm so lucky to have him in my life. He is my bestest friend and um, he really does have the biggest heart, you know, anyone could ever have and oh, I just love that about him. <laughs> How was your childhood? It was okay. Um, I did move around a lot though, which um, is the reason I became so shy. It was really hard for me to make friends because I would move probably every year. Um, to a new place because my dad was in the military so we constantly moved and it was just really hard for me to make friends and um, I became very shy because of that but one cool thing um, that you know one cool memory from my childhood is that when I was about nine years old I entered a beauty pageant for the first time and with no experience or training or anything like that um, I walked away as the 1999 Little Miss Hawaiian Tropics and it was really really awesome 
the next year I did it again and I got top 15 and after that my dad got me an agent and it was like an acting modeling um, kind of commercial sort of thing. I did like really small little jobs, um, nothing big. The biggest thing that I did was model for a Hewlett Packard computer paper. Um, you know like when you go to Walmart and you buy like computer paper, um, like the wrapping on the computer paper, like you know they just they always have like lifestyle type of photos on there. Unfortunately the whole like agency modeling acting thing didn't last too long. Um, so yeah. how was high school? Oh my gosh, high school was seriously, it was the best of times and it was the worst of times. Um, like I said earlier, I I constantly moved all the time and it was kind of hard for me to find out like who I really was, like my true self because whenever I moved I would, I would copy the people in the area. In middle school, um, I actually tried to be my own self uh, for a while, like I tried to do like things that I wanted to do and that's when people really started to make fun of me. Um, I really don't know what it is but people in middle school were so mean and um, I I remember like perfectly um, there was this girl and her friends, I'm not going to say names because that's just mean, but there was this girl and her group of friends and they would talk really mean about the way I was, the way I looked, the way I dressed. They would just talk so mean about me and they would say, they would be sitting like in the desk right next to me and they would talk loud enough like so that I could hear on purpose and I, I, I never looked over at them because I was just so scared but I knew they were talking about me because you know the, it was kind of obvious how they were talking and they would make fun of the things that I wore and I just, I always kept my head down and I became very self-conscious and that's when I went and that's like the reason why I just stayed, I just continued to be a follower. Um, I mentioned that in a video before that I was a follower and in high school, um, you know, it was no different. I was a follower because I didn't want people to keep making fun of me and um, so I continued to copy off people like um, the people that I hung out with or the people around me. I would copy how they dressed and how they act and um, how they did things um, just so I could fit in. But but shortly after Johnny and I started dating, which was, you know, my junior year in high school, that's when I I stopped caring what people thought about me because I had this wonderful guy who loved me just the way I was and like I didn't need to impress anyone anymore. Um and so after we started dating, I started to become my own person like I did what I wanted to do. I dressed how I wanted to dress and I, if people wanted to make fun of me, I, I wouldn't care. Um, I wouldn't let it phase me and um, I really began to see who I was for the first time and I no longer felt the need to fit in or copy anyone anymore. Um, so I began to discover myself and for the first time I saw who I really was and I was just so happy that, you know, I was Jackie. I wasn't trying to be anybody else. I was Jackie. Like, this is me. On the topic of high school, can you give some advice to current high school students? Okay, so first, um, kind of like the moral of my story I just told you, don't let people, don't let people's opinions bother you. And then the second thing, join a club or a sport. Join something that interests you because you'll meet so many awesome people. Um, it's just going to be so much fun for you, um, especially sports. Like, um, I, I did soccer, track, and yeah, I did soccer and track, and uh, I had so much fun with those. Those were just, those were like the best times of high school. I also did theater, which was really, really fun, um, just because I really, I like acting, so um, that was a lot of fun. You will really regret it if you don't join a sport or a club, because that, Joining something like that is really going to help make high school that much more memorable and special. So join something like that. And then the last thing is go to events like the dances, prom, uh, pep rallies. Uh, those are just events that you can't get anywhere else other than high school. Um, in college, there's no such thing as prom and homecoming. Like, they don't do that. Um, so definitely don't, don't pass those up. Um, even if you don't like to dance... Um, just go with a bunch of friends. You, you'll still have fun. So if you just follow those three things, high school is going to be 
an unbelievable experience and you are just gonna love all four years if you do those three things. Have you ever dyed your hair? Yes, I have. Um, if you watched one of my recent videos, I just recently dyed my hair, um, but it's not really a big difference, so who cares? <laughs> but um, I started dyeing my hair when I was in fifth grade, which is really young actually, but I started dyeing my hair and I just kept constantly dyeing my hair, getting highlights, you know, doing everything to my hair. And I finally stopped my sophomore year because I just went too crazy. I bleached the bottom layer of my hair and it looked so horrible and I did it myself so it was really bad so I did it wrong I guess I don't know me and a friend did it together and we just we jacked up our hair basically and I even um, bleached my bangs and I got red right there and red right here and it was just so horrible no one ever saw me with this the red and the uh, the bleach part right here because I had it for a weekend in high school and before I went back to school I dyed it back because it was just so horrible but my hair it felt so thick like thick as in like gooey gooey thick like um like okay say you put your hand in a tub of frosting like for a cake that's how my hair felt Ew. It was really, really gross, and I just, I really don't recommend bleaching your hair unless a professional is doing it. Okay, how old were you when you started wearing makeup? I started wearing makeup when I started making videos on YouTube. I actually talked more about, um, like, my whole makeup story in my makeup story tag. So I'll put a link down below in the description box if you're interested in seeing more about that. What were some of your first makeup products? When I first started... Um, when I first started like playing around with makeup, I was using my mom's makeup and it was Estee Lauder makeup. So I used a bunch of her makeup and um, uh, and then I bought like drugstore like the Maybelline Quad and like NYC products because they're really inexpensive. But yeah, <laughs> but Estee Lauder was kind of like my first uh, makeup products that I was using. Kind of high end for, you know, a beginner. <laughs> when do you think girls should start buying makeup? And I've said this before, but makeup does not make you beautiful. Beauty comes from within and makeup has nothing to do with making you beautiful. Makeup is just a way to express yourself. It's a fun accessory for you and it's just a way for you to be creative. And um, I feel like if you're going to like MAC and you're like 11 years old and you're like, oh, I need foundation and concealer um, so it can make me beautiful. Like you're going, you're buying makeup for the wrong reason and I don't encourage you to continue to buy makeup but if you are going in like to a makeup store or whatever the drugstore if you're going to buy makeup with um the idea of oh like i wonder what this will look like oh this will be fun to play with or you know let me try to be creative with this product and these colors and if you're just trying to be creative and you know have fun with it like definitely buy it like whenever um if you go into it with that mindset um, I don't think there is an age, like, when you should start buying makeup. Um, as long as you're buying makeup for the right reason, I don't think age matters. Do you prefer lipstick or lip gloss? I love both, but I'd have to pick lip gloss. Who is your favorite celebrity? Hands down, Victoria Beckham. She is just a star. What is your favorite TV show? I actually don't watch a lot of TV when I have like free time, you know, I'm on my computer or making videos. I don't really watch TV a lot, but when I do, it's with my boyfriend and we watch bridal shows together, like uh, Bridezilla or Say Yes to the Dress and My Fair Wedding. We just absolutely love bridal shows. I don't know why, but we love to watch them together and I love my boyfriend so much for watching them with me. I think it's so sweet that he watches it with me. And then I watch America's Next Top Model and that's about it. What is your favorite type of music? Oh my gosh, I listen to absolutely everything. Britney Spears and Demi Lovato and then like P.O.D. and Paramore. Um, I like reggae, like Bob and Ziggy Marley. 311, Scary Kids, Scaring Kids, Techno. I listen to Eminem. I also love Mexican pop music, like I love Bella Nova. And then I love Shakira. Um, I love Shakira's Spanish music. If you like Shakira in English, check her out in Spanish because it's just... It's so much more fun to listen to. What is your favorite perfume? I like Viva La Juicy and uh, Victoria's Secret Bombshell, but honestly, I'm not really a perfume kind of girl. I'm more of a body spray kind of girl because 
I like that body sprays are a lot lighter and they smell more fresh and they're not as heavy as a perfume. My f absolute favorite body sprays are from um, Hollister. They're like $12 I think. I have um, Crystal Cove and Hermosa Beach. Oh my god, I love those two so much. Um, go check them out at Hollister. They smell so good. If you could meet anyone dead or alive, who would it be and why? Okay, I'm kind of stuck between three celebrities, but um, Britney Spears, because I've just loved her music since second grade. I've always been a huge fan. Um, even when, during her crazy times, I was still a huge fan of her. Always loved Britney, always will love Britney. Um, Lady Gaga, because she's just one interesting character. I would love to meet her. That would just be really interesting. And I'm taller than her, which is so weird. I would just love to stand next to her and like, because she just seems like she would be so tall because of her confidence and the way she kind of carries herself. She just seems like she would be so much taller, but I'm taller than her. Lady Gaga is like only 5'1". And then the last one, Victoria Beckham, because she has just been my absolute favorite fashion icon since Spice Girls. I'm not even kidding you. When I, when, like, when I first became a fan of Spice Girls, I always wanted to wear, like, the little Gucci dress. <laughs> Who would you invite to your ideal dinner party? And I actually had to think about this when I first read the question, but I would invite the entire cast of Twilight because I just adore every single one of those characters and they're all so gorgeous and I mean, who doesn't want to have dinner with a, a bunch of gorgeous people? I mean, <laughs> I would love to and uh, Rob and Taylor can sit right next to me. <laughs> what are you obsessed with? I am obsessed with um, I don't really know how to say it, but like I'm obsessed with like bling bling, like <laughs> like things that sparkle and shine, like rhinestones, diamonds, crystals, like um, kind of like my bracelets. See how it's just like, it's so blingy? <laughs> Is that a word? Blingy? Um, I just, I love this. I'm obsessed with things that sparkle like that. Ugh. I'm obsessed with that and I'm obsessed with Hello Kitty too. I have like so much Hello Kitty stuff, it's almost embarrassing. <laughs> And, um, obviously makeup too. <laughs> uh, what camera do you use? Um, when I first started making videos, I used my MacBook Pro, but then I upgraded to the, um, Canon Vixia HFR10. Uh, what do you use to edit your videos? I always use the iMovie program on my MacBook Pro. Um, I think the iMovie program actually came with the MacBook, so I didn't need to purchase it or anything. It came with the laptop. What are your biggest pet peeves? Okay, I don't even need to think about this. My biggest pet peeves are when people do not listen. Like first, if it's like by command, like if I'm telling Brooklyn, like my little sister, to stop touching my stuff or get out of my room and she doesn't listen, that makes me so angry. And then <laughs> and then the second reason is, or second way it bothers me is if I'm telling a story to like my boyfriend or my best friend or something like that, and I'm talking and then or my parents. My parents do this to me a lot, but I, I'm telling them a story, I'm talking, and then I'm like, okay, so what do you guys think, or what should I do? Or like, I ask for their opinion after the story, and they're like, oh, sorry, what? Oh, what were you saying? Like, really? You weren't listening to me the whole time I was talking? Like, <sighs> Okay, pirates or ninjas? Pirates, duh! Do you want to have kids? If so, when? Yes, I do. I, I really, really, really want to have kids. I really can't wait. Um, right now, I'm only 19. I'm way too young. Like, I want to wait until I'm married, have a house, have a good job, um, until I have a lot of money because kids are really expensive. Um, but when that day comes, I cannot wait. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm just so excited to, like, for when that time comes, I'm just so excited to have like a little baby of my own to take care of and love and oh, I'm just so excited. I can't wait. Um, I want to have at least one, obviously, but no more than three. I think anything more than three might be a little too much for me. Besides makeup, what do you do in your spare time? I love to go on long road runs. Um, I've never been someone who likes to run on a treadmill. I just don't like it. It's very awkward, but I love doing road runs. That's my favorite. and. Um, I love to read love stories. I'm a huge Twilight sucker. <laughs> I love spending time with Johnny and my friends and going out to the beach or going downtown and just like exploring new places. Um, I, I love shopping. Oh my gosh, why didn't I say that first? I love to shop like crazy. And I love to dance and sing, but not usually in front of people. 
which is weird for me to say because I was on the dance team in middle school and I sang in the talent show in high school. But it made me feel uncomfortable because I'm really shy. <laughs> can you do an everyday makeup routine? Yes, I can. I actually just did one. It was my last video. I will have a link down in the down bar for you guys. And how about a skincare routine video? Yes, I've been meaning to do a video on that for a long time. Um, I'll, I don't have a link for it yet because I haven't filmed it, but um, I will have one up for you guys soon. I promise. Who is your role model? And honestly, my role model is my boyfriend Johnny because he's just such a positive, happy person. You guys might be surprised by this, but I am actually quite a pessimistic person. Um, I'm always thinking negative. I'm always like bringing myself down and um, and that's not good. And But Johnny is always the one to make me stay positive, like be that uplifting person in my life. And he's always just so motivating, like you can do it, baby. You know, you can do anything. You're smart. You can accomplish like anything you want. And like he's just so, so caring and helpful. And he's always trying to be so positive. I I think I've said that about a million times now and you know I just admire his happy positive spirit and I wish to portray that in my own life that's so that's why he is my role model okay and the last question is why do you always say have a magical day <laughs> um, my two aunts in Oklahoma always make fun of me for it because they think it's like a little baby thing to do like I talk in my little baby voice and I say have a magical day like a little baby but they say, they always tell me, you need to talk with your grown man voice. <laughs> and it, oh my gosh, when they say that, I just almost pee my pants because they say it's so funny. Uh, <laughs> but I don't want to talk with my grown man voice. I like talking like a little girl because I am a little girl. <laughs> well, I'm not really little, but I'm a girl, so I want to talk like a girl. <laughs> but anyways, my reason for saying it, I guess it's kind of silly, but... Um, here's my story. <laughs> uh, the first time I heard it, heard someone say have a magical day was from a Disney princess actually, <laughs> which I, I love Disney princesses. Um, not as much as I love Hello Kitty, but I do love Disney princesses. Um, but I heard a Disney princess say have a magical day and it made me feel so happy. Like, cause you always hear people say, oh, have a good day, have a good one. Like that's so boring. But when... I heard, have a magical day. I was like, oh, that, okay, I will. Like, it just made me feel so happy. And like, so it just kind of brightened my day. And the reason I say it to you guys is because I hope it has the same effect as it had on me. So I want to like brighten your guys' day. I want to put a smile on your face. And um, hopefully by me saying that, it just kind of cheers you up a little. And you do have a magical day. <laughs> I actually have some friends that make fun of me for it. <laughs> and it's funny. And, you know, but it doesn't bother me because at least I got a smile on your face. So if you're making fun of me, it's okay because at least I got a smile on your face and that's all that really matters. I just want to make people smile and be happy and yeah. So yeah, that was it. This video was extremely long, so I'm very, very sorry about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Have a magical day.